Hey Neil, my name's Chris Taylor. I'm the, the social media manager over at Marcus Theaters. How are you today, man? Hey, I'm good, Chris. Nice to meet you. Hey, it's a pleasure to meet you. I appreciate you spending some time on a Saturday. It's, uh, you know, it's Saturday, weekends are your time kind of a deal, so I appreciate you sitting down with me today. Oh, it's great. My pleasure. Well, hey man, congratulations on doing, uh, on the, the brace, right? Writing and directing uh, yes. on Voyagers. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. So I'd love to get your thoughts, you know, first and foremost, like what served as your inspiration for creating this story? Well, I mean, I'm interested in all different kinds of movies and there was just, you know, there was some sort of images that I came up with that were about these young people on in this kind of confined space. Um, and I just kind of teased a story out of it that examines, you know, that examines human nature and, you know, who are we at our core? And I like, you know, for me, the movie's about human nature in a vacuum, in yeah. a way, you know? When you strip away all the cultural baggage, who are we, you know? Are we good? Are we are we evil? Are we animals? Or are we, you know, are we generous at, at, our, at our core or moral even? Well, it's so funny. I'm so glad you mentioned, like, being in a tight space because it, it, one of the, the questions I was thinking of and the things I was writing as I was watching your film, especially as it pertained to Zach's mania, right? As he just kind of whipped himself up into a, a froth kind of, you know, as, as the film went on, like did shooting in a tight space like that truly kind of help fuel, um, you know, that, that sense of claustrophobic and, 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 you know, intense emotions. It did. It did because um, it, you know, you're right. It's like there's this sense of confinement, and I wanted the ship to be claustrophobic. You know, which I think is the reality of what you'd be experiencing if you were on some long distance trip. They don't have any room for extra weight. It's just the bare minimum of you know what can support life, and so, so that was part of the design. And what's interesting is how it reflects on the confinement that we've all been in. You know, I wrote it a long time ago, but suddenly it seemed you know, really relevant to what was going on now that, you know, we're isolated, we're confined, we're in, we're having our own claustrophobic experiences. Um, but yeah, shooting it, we had these, you know, really narrow hallways. They're like 200 feet long and three feet yeah. wide, which is, you know, no, no director of photography would ever want you to build a set that way, but it was perfect. You know, we were, it was like the crew was shoulder to shoulder with the, with the cast. And, and that was to kind of give it this sort of hot house quality, this sort of pressure cooker. And I think it did affect their performances. Absolutely. I, you know, I wish we could talk longer. I mean, there's so many metaphors that I picked up in your film. I was just scribbling like notes down furiously. And uh, man, I, sitting down picking your brain over a beer would be would be brilliant sometime. But congratulations on Voyager. I'm really excited that Marcus Cedars is going to be shown in on our big screens. And you know, nothing but blessings and good fortune to you going forward. Hopefully we can see more of your movies in the near future. Yes, thanks very much. Cheers. Thank you, my friend. All right, take care.